SANA is a new cutting-edge framework designed for efficient high-resolution image scientists, specify in targeting text-to-image generation. SANA actually claimed that it can generate image up to 4096 by 4096 resolution, which make it bigger than even 4K. Not only that, but it also claimed it's very fast and it can be deployed on a laptop GPU. This video is showing the SANA 0.6 billion parameter model being deployed and used on a laptop GPU. And as you can see here, he's trying to create a prompt. I mean, the video itself is quality is very low, but the speed of generating the image is extremely fast. And he also shown us the speed of generating these images in a different examples. Let's take a quick look to what makes SANA this fast. It's the core component of creating or designing SANA is something called DCAE and it stands for Deep Compression Auto Encoder. This model actually compresses the image by 32 times. In the regular model like the Stable Diffusion and Flux, they say that it can only compress images only 8 times, which result in our case in SANA reducing the number of latent token. In normal English, it makes it faster. The second part of this recipe, linear DIT. The DIT stands for diffusion transformer. The traditional attention mechanism are replaced with linear attention, make it efficient at high resolution without compressing the image quality. And also the decoder only text encoder. And instead of using the T5, which is currently used, I think, in the flux, they replaced it with the modern decoder for only small LLM. And finally, efficient training and sampling. They proposed a new flow called the Flow DBM Solver to reduce the sampling steps, which make it efficient at captioning and labeling and selecting to accelerate or speed up the conversions. And this image is showing everything that we talked about, the DCEA and the linear DIT. And also here, as you can see here, it's comparing it to the Flux dev. I don't know why they compare it to the Flux dev. It's the slowest one from the Flux family, in my opinion. And of course, they compare it to other models like the Flux channel and the Flux dev and the Stable Diffusion 3 medium. This is the latency. As you can see here, the dev is extremely slow, but the channel is all right because it's kind of the better model. And here is the speed of the SANA 0.6 billion parameter. It's extremely fast. And also the SANA 1.6 billion parameter model. I went out and tested and generated a couple of images and it's all right. It's not that great. This is the demo of the SANA model. They're running the 1.6 billion parameter, which is the better or the high quality model. The problem with this demo, if you don't have the link for it, you can't access it because the link of it is really odd. It's a bunch of numbers and text and the grid you live. I think it's deployed on NVIDIA. So I have this prompt. If it should generate a pixel art style, and this is the result that I got. Uh, as you can see here, it's extremely ugly. I will have to be honest. So I'm gonna take the same prompt, best it in a Flux model and see the results and compare it. And this is the results I got from the Flux 1, not the 1.1 dev model. There is huge difference between two. I mean, like the last one was actually extremely ugly. As you can see here, it's looked like uh, it looked like a button for me. I have no idea why. Here, another example. I asked it to create a list toleration of a hamburger image. And as you can see here, there is the flux image. It's extremely high quality. The hand is correct. It's have this kind of illustration style. It's it's decent. It's decent. It's much simpler less details, but it's decent enough to be accepted. Here, another example, a flock in the style of neon futuristic neon, bright, illustrated, and high tech, highly detailed, bright colors, androids. This is the flux results, and this is the results of SANA.
The difference between Sana and Flux so far that is just a speed of Sana is much better than Flux. I'm using the SageMind.com model. I, they gave us the Flux one dev model for free. We can use it, but that's the only thing that's good about Sana so far. Flux, I'm using the dev version, which is not the greatest version of the Flux family. It's give me a huge difference in the results. Let's try it one more time before I say my opinion about Sana. See the speed of Sana is extremely fast. Here I wanted to create an image. A cat in a style of fairy tale. Vintage and color pencil. Highly detailed pastels. As you can see here, it's this cat look like this cat actually looked like my cat, but a smaller, younger version of it. And here is the result that I got from Sana. It's not bad, it's actually decent. But so far Flux have been killing it in terms of the results. Here another example, I got in a style of pink fantasy, vintage, pop, surrealism, bright colors and pastel drawing. As you can see here the Flux version is extremely good. And this is the Senna model results. Alright, the last thing that we're going to talk about what is the future plan of this model or the framework. First thing, they're gonna release the training code, then the inference code, and something called Model Zoo. I have no idea what is this. The futures and compatibility with Comfy UI. My opinion about this model, Sana represent a new advancement in the high resolution image sign thesis and the speed of generating images. But and I think this model need to go back to the oven it needs some cooking or basically it need fine tuning on more high quality styles and images. But so far for me, Flux is still the best and it will still the best for a while now. Sana is extremely new. It's just less than four hours release this GitHub repo and this demo and the information. So if you found this video helpful and respecting your time and providing you with valuable information, please hit the like and subscription button and leave a silly comment for the algorithm of YouTube. I found out that if you leave any comment down below, it will push the video even more and it will help me a ton. And if you like to stay tuned and know what is coming new, very new, as you can see here about AI and large language model, please subscribe you will not regret it i'm trying to make the channel better every single week thank you for watching and see you on the next video